It all began Thursday night as runners and participants of the fast-paced race filled up with the annual pasta dinner. So, like, how many divisions in this state? Well, that's a good so question. What division are you? I am the 1972 Olympic champion in the marathon and 1976 Olympic silver medalist in the marathon. There's your man Frank Shorter wearing the mustache all the way on the outside wearing the white shirt with USA. With the Jim Frank Shorter of the United States has a real chance in this race. He was fifth in the 10,000 meters. That's about as best as he could possibly do. But today, he is the fastest man in the marathon field. No one has run 10,000 meters as fast as Frank Shorter. He was the top-rated marathoner in the world last year. He beat the world at Fukuoka, Japan. He is a heavy favorite. When Devin gave me a call, the connection we had was Jimmy Carnes. Uh, so it, it was a natural, because I'm one of those people that I like to do things, for instance, to come back and, and, and really draw awareness to prostate cancer or to come back and, and really let people know how important Jimmy Carnes, who was the track coach at the University of Florida, who supported many of us in the early days of running when we were all laboring in obscurity, and to be able to come back and sort of combine those two efforts, uh, it, it makes it very easy for me uh, to do something like that. And the other allure was that, that when Devin talked about it being truly a grassroots race, I've been involved in race startup, you know, since the 1970s, and, and to see, in a way, road racing come almost full circle to back to where, since there are so many races out there now, to have certain running communities that can really rise above the sort of standard situation and create their own race in which they also along the way evolve an ability to put on a race. So instead of having a race now and bringing in outside people to put it on, Devin is one of those people who's been able to sort of draw the talent from his own racing community and that's what makes this race I think interesting, special and a lot different. The buses are loading now. The buses will take you there as well. There is a drop bag. Anyone loading up? Let's go! There's a drop bag up there. Woo! Uh, well, I like coming out to this race. It's uh, it's for prostate cancer. Uh, I've been running probably most of my life, uh, playing ball uh, in the army. I was a paratrooper, so we ran every day about 4:30, 5 o'clock, uh, about six miles a day. So it just kind of got in my blood. Uh, I'm too old now to do anything else but run. So uh, I just I just really enjoy running, getting up early, and it's a challenge. It, it keeps me going.
Yeah, well, the race is well organized. A lot of signs. You could never get lost. So that's a very good thing. Well organized. I like the race, and I'll do it again. I thought it was going to be faster, but it was rolling hills, but it's good for a race too. Let's get the rest of our Solid race again today. Uh, what, sixth year running it, and um, had a lot of great competition out here. It was nice to finally have the guys that are supposed to be out here running this race. This is the kind of a race and competitiveness that I was hoping for the first few years, but it takes time for a race like this to grow into what it has. And with obviously being a, the Georgia State Championship and Frank Shorter being here, it's a fantastic event, fantastic uh, race. And um, I think I was about fourth overall, which is uh, very, um, it's foreign to me to be in that place at this race. But uh, Valentin, the guy that won it, I mean, you know, he passed me right around the first mile. Um, we all got out pretty fast, right around 455 flat. And uh, he just kind of uh, held on and it was nice to latch onto a group of guys, um, you know, to pull me along. How was the race in the course? It's awesome. Very fast. The mile four is tough. You climb for most of the mile. Uh, but the last, the first three and the last two are really fast. So it's pretty good. Pretty good workout. Oh yeah. I mean, it was a pretty good race. Nice conditions. It's always really well organized. And run here. I like the I like the staff. So got out there and ran by myself a lot, but I had some good competition at the end. Oh, it was an amazing experience. Great race. Thank you. And I ran in honor of my Go father who survived prostate cancer. I love you, Daddy. Wow. Thank you. Tell us about the course. The course was great. 15K gets a little hilly there, miles two through five, but a nice fast finish. Turning 50 uh, this month, and decided that it's a good thing to get find out uh, what my score is, see if I uh, should uh, look into it a little bit further. Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Miller with George Urology. I just want to thank everyone for coming out to the fast paced race. We're proud supporters. Uh, it's a great, fun run. Uh, we have a great turnout. It seems like we get a greater turnout each year. And it's so important to support our cause of raising awareness for prostate cancer. Come out, have a fun run. Uh, lots of vendors are out here, lots of fun people. And of course, uh, free prostate cancer screenings. Bertrand, there again. Did I get that close? 